Assalamu alaikum. Welcome and karibuni to our room of Zanzibar's kitchen. Guess what are we making today? It's paprika powder. Most of the time whenever I use paprika, people ask me what is paprika? Where can I find paprika? So since I ran out of mine, I thought let me share with you that, you know, you can make your own paprika at home and it's only one ingredient. Now ideally, if you have the red sweet chili peppers, these are perfect. But if you don't have, you can use bell pepper as I'm using because they are the same family or you can mix both. Now I'm cleaning mine and cutting them into pieces. Now I'm going to smoke mine because I want that smoked flavor and aromas in my paprika. But if you don't want to smoke yours, you don't have to go with this step. Now I'm going to put this in the oven on broil, which is the upper heat only for about 10 minutes. You can dry this in the sun. It will take about two to three days. Uh, I would love to do that here, but uh, it's too dusty. Or if you have a dehydrator, that's much better. All right, so mine are done now. It's been like uh, 10 minutes. Like I mentioned, if you do not want the smoky flavor, then you don't have to do this step. You can just move to the next step. So I'm just gonna wait for them to cool and then I'm just gonna cut them into small strips so that it's easy to dry all right and um, yeah it's very simple as you can see so we're just gonna cut them into small pieces very thin all right and once it's done I'm just gonna put them back on the tray and these will bake on very low heat. That's about 140 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about four, 60 degrees Celsius for about four to six hours, up to eight hours. It depends on the oven that you have. Now, when you put them in the oven, uh, you want to make sure that you do not close the door all the way so that you do not have any moisture. So I've kept a towel there. And I did mine for about five hours. I could have done it longer, or I should have done it longer, but I was way too impatient and too tired. So they were not as crispy as I really wanted them to be. And it's very simple. After that, you're just going to use your dry spice grinder and just grind them. Now, when you grind them, I would advise you to put little at a time. Like I say, I was tired, so I just put the whole lot. So while grinding, uh, you know, then you have to grind for a long time. So it created, the heat created a little bit of moisture that didn't give me a really fine powder as I wanted, but uh, it works as far as the, you know, the flavors that I was looking for. And this really, really smelled amazing. My whole kitchen was smelling so good. So anyway, so that's paprika for you. So the next time you hear me or anybody else using paprika, now you know that it's, this is how you make paprika. It's just one ingredient. So thank you so much for watching. While I'm here, I would love to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for your support, especially for the last year. I haven't been really consistent, but inshallah, I'm coming back 2022 and we're going to do much better. I would love to wish you a wonderful new year and wonderful blessings.